Hi students, let us continue with the software development life cycle of unified modeling language. So in the previous video, I explain a uh, uh, use case driven architecture centric and iterative process. So those are the main uh, process that uh, which gives most benefit from the UML. So this use case driven and architecture centric and iterative incremental process can be broken into phases as I said. So these are the four phases of software development life cycle, inception, elaboration, construction and transition. Now let us see what is an inception. Inception is the first phase. So this is the first phase of the software development life cycle. So this phase, uh, this is the first phase of the process when the idea for the development is brought up to the point of being at least internally sufficiently well founded to warrant entering into the elaboration phase. So what it is saying, inception is nothing but a starting process, starting step you have to take. So what is a starting step? You have to uh, gather all the informations, internal informations which are sufficient. First you think about the idea for development. Just create an idea for developing. So this is only uh, thinking space, thinking phase. Just in the inception you start, uh, this is a starting step. There you have to create the idea for development which points to being at least internally sufficient, well founded to warrant to enter into elaboration state. So if you want to enter into elaboration state, first you think, uh, come up with an idea. That is an inception. Next, elaboration. During elaboration phase, so this is the second phase in the software development cycle. Okay, in the inception, I'll get one idea to develop the software. In the elaboration state, what I am doing? In this phase, the project team is expected to capture a healthy majority of the system requirements. So, in elaboration state, try to gather the team, okay, gather team, uh, the project team is expected to capture healthy majority of the system requirements, gather team and uh, gather the system requirements in that you can do in elaboration phase. So, the primary goal of this elaboration is to address uh, to address known risk factors and to establish and validate the system architecture. So here we are going to analyze the risk factors and we are validating the system architecture also. In our elaboration phase, gather the requirements and gather the team, try to est uh, know the uh, risk factors that are present before starting. Whenever you are going, suppose whatever you are going to start, First, you think what are the risk factors that are not only the goal, you have to think about what are the problems that you raised if you start this product. So, in the elaboration phase, you have to try to uh, find out what are the risk factors that are involved and you have to validate the system architecture also. And you need to establish the system also. So, that is a second phase. And coming to the third phase, that is a construction phase. So, this third phase, it Evolves the executable architecture. Construction means it's nothing but you are trying to uh, think about the executable architecture. So what are the what code you have to be used? What technology that you have to be used? What uh, for developing the product? So try to evolve the executable architecture baseline into a complete working system. The goal of this construction is to complete all requirements, analysis and designs are constantly re-examined again as the business needs of the project. So the, the main thing in the construction is you try to start with the code implementation and make it a complete working system. Start with the baseline and try to complete with working system. Here the goal of construction is to complete all the requirement phase, analysis phase and designs and start to re-examine the business needs of the project. That will be come under the construction phase. And the fourth phase in the software development life cycle is a transition. The transition is the fourth phase of the process when the software is turned into the hands of user community. So transition phase will be established when the time you hand over the project to the customers. 
it is a fourth phase of the process when the software is turned into the hands of the user community during this phase the system is continuously improved bugs and eradicated and features that did not make any earlier release or added so it's just completely comes under the maintenance so after uh, deploying the project what you'll do so that you have to maintain the project means if any bugs are there that you have to be re-examined if any customer need to add some more uh, services to the product means if they want to extend the project means that will be done in the maintenance stage so this phase comes under the transition phase okay so these are the four phases that are present in the uh, software development life cycle so here is a diagram so the phases are inception elaboration construction and transition so inception is the basic idea we are going to be developed here the starting step okay in the elaboration try to find out the risk and you get you have to gather the requirements in the construction try to uh, complete the project complete the project and in transition just maintenance will be there so these are the different phases that are present in the software development life cycle inception elaboration construction and transition so if you take the business modeling starting step it should be inception will be high means uh, in the business modeling you the starting you are just gathering the requirements before uh, you are just discussing with the customer so whenever you are discussing with the customer you have came with some ideas so that will be the inception phase so the requirements will be uh, think about in uh, re inception elaboration construction and transition so whatever the stage you have to take in everything will be based on the uh, requirements only you are going to be uh, developed different phases and the analysis design analysis designs also involved in all the mostly in these three phases and in the some cases in transition implementation will be start at the second phase because at that elaboration construction and transition will be come under the implementation so test will be start with the idea of inception and up to the transition deployment deployment is completely after the construction mean at the stage of construction and transition configuration and change management that will be occurred if the configurations wants to change and if you want to change the management that will be done at uh, elaboration phase to the maintenance phase project management everything will be involved the project management will be involved at the starting of the inception phase and ending of the transition phase in each and every phase the project management involvement will be there environment so it should be the environment has to be established at the starting of the uh, inception phase only so this is about the software development life cycle thank you